Good morning, everyone. And this announcement for teachers first, and especially department chairs, we're just going to have to cancel C and I for this month. I'm not sure I've ever done that before, but we ran out of time. We had to have a little, well, we didn't have to, but we got to have a little celebration yesterday. And uh, today, the Beat Up Billing Leadership Team has to meet. Uh, so we'll meet again, I'll let you know, early in January. And now I would like every student's attention for one minute. Are you all with me? Okay, this is a very important announcement. The state issued its very first Iowa School Report Card uh, yesterday morning, Wednesday morning. Every public school in Iowa, every elementary school, you can go look it up and find out your elementary school's uh, rating. Every middle school, every junior high school, every single high school, every alternative school, every public high school in every public school in Iowa got a rating based on a variety of things. Most of them related to our Iowa assessment scores at all the schools. Most of them related that there were eight indicators used and five of them circled back some way to Iowa assessment scores. The test we took a year ago in March. Now there were three other things: attendance rate and graduation rate and teacher retention rate were the other three, but again, it was heavily Iowa assessment. Only five schools in the Cedar Rapids School District received the commendable rating. There were a couple really high marks above that, like exceptional and, uh, and uh, a high performing, and only a tiny percentage of schools got that, and it was pretty impossible for big schools to get it. 48 big high schools in Iowa, 40 high schools, and 12 of those uh, got this commendable rating, and we were one. Uh, one of the 12 in Iowa, one of only five schools in the district to get it. The other four, in case you're interested, one was Grandwood. If you're a Grandwood graduate, congratulate someone there. That's an awesome achievement for Grandwood Elementary. The other two were Westside Elementaries. Actually, I guess uh, one West and one East Side, Viola Gibson and Jackson Elementaries, Taft Middle, and Wash. And here's why I'm telling you this. Uh, this is a very cool thing for your school. Uh, the, we were the only high school in the metro area to get that higher rating. One of only three in our conference, Cedar Falls and Iowa City West, the other two. And as I said, one of the only 12 forays in Iowa to get it. And here's what I'm telling you this. Because you guys did it. Because your efforts and your work on the Iowa assessment tests made all the difference. And let that motivate us to do our very best again when we take them on February 29th and March 1st and 2nd, 2016. Also, the graduation rate was a factor, and some other things as well. And the reason you did well in the Iowa assessments is because of the challenging courses you take here. So it's all good, and it's all on you, and I just congratulate you and thank you for being great students every day around here and making your school uh, eligible to win one award after another based on your achievement. Way to go, Warriors. And uh, I'm going to go really fast because I'm short on announcements here today, actually. One birthday, uh, Maddie LaGrange. Happy birthday to you, Maddie. Once today, it's sort of the holiday lunch. It's uh, turkey gravy with mashed potatoes. Or if you don't want turkey gravy with mashed potatoes, how about a spicy chicken on a bun? Or Asian rice bowl? Or a grilled cheese sandwich? Or a sub? And there's so many events tonight. I'm not going to even go through them all, but I'll tell you that it is your first chance to see wrestling at home, 6 o'clock for JV, and somewhere around 7 for varsity against the Kennedy Cougars. Good luck to all the other teams in action, swimmers on the road, ninth grade boys basketball on the road, ninth grade girls basketball is the other event here, by the way, it's at 7 o'clock uh, in the new gym, and I think that is all the stuff I have to do. The rest are kind of reruns. Student announcers. Hola, so uh, Spanish Club is having a dinner tonight at La Camellia's at 5.30. Everybody's welcome, no matter if you're in Spanish or what level you're in. Hello, Wash. Today is the day of the improv show. It is tonight at 8 o'clock in the Little Theater. It's free to anyone who wants to come, and it's a great time. So if you're not going to see Star Wars again, come on back. All right, so if you want sophomore class apparel, the order forms are due tomorrow, so make sure you get a form today and attach the money for tomorrow. T-shirts are $10 and sweatshirts are $15. Um, you can find forms uh, in Mr. Drew's room, and that's where you turn it in. Thanks. <laughs> tomorrow is Ugly Sweater Day and also the last day that we will be accepting donations for HACAP. Today is half price of your day, so 
go pay your tickets for half price. The box for the movie night is in the office. If you need to fill it out, stick a slip in the box. It's in the office. The movie night is Tuesday, January 5th at 3.15 to 5 o'clock in Mr. Mason's room, two, room 228. And um, also, if you don't feel like going to the main office to vote, you can also just go online. I will have that published at um, during second lunch today, it's uh, washpole.weekly.com. Washington Poll. Cool. Photo club today after school from 3.15 to 4.30 in room 217. See you. Or see you then. Movie club showing Inglorious Bastards tomorrow after school, room 105C. Further information is at Wash Movie Club on Twitter. GSA today in my room 228. Washington's are amazing. Love you guys. Thank you for their great efforts every single day to make this one of Iowa's finest high schools. And that will do a wrap. That will be a wrap for today's uh, Thursday announcement. See you at wrestling tonight.